The BOE, of course, announcing its biggest single rate hike uh, for 33 years yesterday, taking interest rates to a 14-year high of 3%. And for the breakdown, then, Lizzie Burden uh, can kind of give us more granular detail on, on how to assess what the BOE did. What, for you... Uh, were the main takeaways? Well, the hike itself was priced in, so it was all about the dovish commentary around it. Um, you had a real pushback from the governor against market expectations for the future path for rates. So, in other words, saying they don't see rates hitting peaking fi at 5.25%. And that has an impact for the outlook. So, um, if the market curve were to be followed, you would get an eight quarter long recession, not uh, as deep as in the financial crisis, but half a million people could lose their jobs. Now that is bleak, yes, but the bank's saying we don't think that's going to happen. If rates were to stay on hold, the bank would see a, a, five, a five quarter long recession over six quarters with a double dip. So the point is either way, not a soft landing, um, but the governor refused to be specific about the future future path for rates because here we don't do a dot plot like in the US. The reality is though it could be even worse than the forecast because the BOE was flying blind here. They don't know what's going to happen on November the 17th except that we're going to have a fiscal squeeze. Bailey said that there's going to be a lasting effect from the Trussonomics era's policy and if rates aren't going to go up that much it has a blowback effect for the pound of course. So it's very very diff different messaging from the Fed, even though it's the same size of hike and the outlook looking for going forward, pretty bleak.